In this image, I have taken a picture of my desk with two objects on the desk. One is the corner of an envelope, and the other is the LED on the desk. Let's suppose that I want to find the location of this envelope, and I do not want to detect the location of the LED. I could do this by masking if I recognize that the envelope has the special shape characteristic of this sharp corner uh, on the edge of it. The LED doesn't have the same kind of sharp corner that this envelope does. Masking is a method that we can use to detect objects that have a particular characteristic shape that is different than the background. Here's how masking works. Let's suppose that I have a matrix of numbers that represents my image. I've drawn here a matrix of numbers that is supposed to represent a very low resolution image of the envelope and the LED that we saw in the last picture. This little group of pixels over here is supposed to represent the LED, while this group of pixels over here represents the corner of the envelope with its sharp edge. To try and detect this envelope to the exclusion of the LED using the method of masking, what we do is we create a very small uh, matrix of numbers representing a very small low resolution image where our image shows only that particular shape feature that we are looking to detect. Our small uh, or low resolution uh, image that we define is called a mask. So in this case, I'll define my mask to be something that looks like the corner of the envelope that I'm looking for. Then I'm going to make all of the high value pixels, instead of being 100 like they are in my image, they only need to be the value of 1 in my mask. Finally, I want the total value of all of the pixels in my mask to add up to something that's close to 0. So all of these values that are 0, I'm going to replace them with values of negative 1. Now, the total value of the pixels in my mask add up to almost zero. Now, here's how we use a mask. I'm going to take the mask that I've defined, and I'm going to make the mask overlap each group of 3 by 3 pixels individually. Each value in the mask will be multiplied by its corresponding value in the actual image. So I'm going to draw the mask right on top of this little group of 3 by 3 pixels. 1, 1, 1, negative 1, 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. I'm going to multiply together the numbers that are on top of each other here, and then I'm going to add the result of all of those multiplications and put it right in the center pixel. And instead of drawing it on the center pixel here, I'm going to create a new matrix to store the results of my multiplications. Here I've drawn a new matrix that matches my original matrix where I can store the result of applying my mask. I'll multiply together all of the red numbers by the black numbers over here 
and write the value in the center position in my result. So 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 0 is 0, 1 times 100 is 100, and everything else is 0. So the result here is 100, and for the rest of these values that are on the edge, I'm just going to copy those uh, values over. Next, I'm going to move my mask. Instead of overlapping the mask up here in the upper left hand corner, I'm going to now move the mask down like this. And once again, I'm going to overlap the mask values on top of this little square of values that I've set aside in my uh, actual image. So I get a 1, 1, 1, negative 1, positive 1 here, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. Once again, I'm going to multiply the red values by all the black values and add them up. I have 1 times 100 here, 1 times 100 here, and negative 1 times 100 here. So the result is 100. I write the result in the center position over in my result. I'm going to continue this process, moving the mask down, and then moving the mask over one at a time, and then moving the mask up and over until I've overlap the mask on top of every little group of 3x3 three three pixels and get the result. What we'll see is that when the mask overlaps the shape that we're trying to detect, we'll have a total value of the mask that is very high. For example, when my mask overlaps, I'll draw this in blue, when my mask exactly overlaps the corner of the envelope shown right here, I'll have a value of 1 times 100, 1 times 100, 1 times 100, and 1 times 100. It gives me a total of 400, which goes right into, let me draw some guidelines to show where that value will go right in the second row from the bottom and the third column from the right. When I look at the result image, what I will see is an especially bright pixel right here, located exactly at the corner of my envelope. I can then look at the result and check to see which pixel is the brightest pixel in the image and that should tell me the location of the shape that I was looking for with my mask. So in conclusion, here's an overview of how the masking process works. Step one is to identify a unique shape or feature of the object you want to detect. Then step two is to define a small group of pixels which we will call the mask which represents the feature. This small group of pixels should add up to uh, close to zero and each of the pixel values should be uh, a fairly low value, like 1 to 3 or so. Once you have the mask defined, we then want to apply the mask to the entire image, one pixel at a time. We will move the mask around the image, left to right and uh, up and down, until we've applied the mask on top of every group of uh, three by three pixels 
in the original image. As we are applying this mask to the entire image one pixel at a time, we are writing the results into a new image. Remember that the results of applying the mask is the mask times the values in the group of pixels being overlapped and then added together and written into the location in the result that corresponds to the center pixel uh, where the mask is overlapping. Finally, the lightest, that is, highest value pixels in the result will indicate our object location. So this is how masking works. Masking is a method that will work when your object has a specific unique shape or feature that appears in the object but does not appear in the background.